Hello everyone, in this video we'll be solving this problem that is based on calculation of magnetic flux which came in an AITS. So I'd want you guys to try, try out this problem for three to four minutes before watching the solution. And if you like the solution, please like and subscribe. So the problem statement is that we are given a wire of infinite length, which is placed along the z-axis. Then we have a square loop of side L, which is placed such that the plane of the loop makes an angle 74 degrees with the positive x-axis and the side AB touches the x-axis at the point L, 0, 0. And the plane of the square loop is parallel to the z-axis. So we have to find the magnetic flux through the loop. So beginning with the solution. So this is a basic concept. So if we have a small patch of area DA, uh, whose area vector is like this, and the magnetic field of magnitude B passes through this loop uh, at some angle theta to the area vector, then the small flux through the loop d phi is defined as B dot DA. So if you draw the side view of what's happening, so we have a line charge that is coming out of the plane. This is, let's say, the square loop of side length L. And this makes an angle of 74 degrees with the x-axis. So now in order to find the flux, we have to take a differential element, right? So let's say we go a distance x along the square loop. And if we take a small element of length dx, so let's say this distance is going to be r. So the magnetic field will be something like this, perpendicular to the r vector. The area vector of this small patch of area will be in this direction, right? Normal to the square loop. So let's say if this angle is alpha, then this angle will also be alpha. If I want to write the flux d phi on that small patch of area, it will be b dot da. And the magnetic field due to a long current carrying wire is mu naught i divided by 2 pi r, where r is the radial distance from the wire. So this is the magnetic field times dA will be L multiplied by dx times cos alpha. So if we take out all the constants, so it will be mu naught i divided by 2 pi, mu naught i L divided by 2 pi will come out dx cos alpha divided by r. Now the interesting part of this integral is that if we zoom in on the dx element, okay, so this is our dx element, this is our r vector, let's say, magnetic field will be in this direction, and the normal to the square loop is along this direction, and the angle between these two is alpha. If I extend this line, r, in this direction, even this angle right here is alpha. So this is our dx element, if you see carefully, dx cos alpha is something like this, which is basically a small change in our ray r vector, right? So dx cos alpha is basically a small change in r vector. So we can actually write dx cos alpha as dr. So if we substitute that, we'll get the flux to be times integral dr by r. Now we just have to find the limits of r. So the lower limit for r is going to be this distance, which is given to be L in the question. And the upper limit is going to be this distance, which we have to find. So we know this angle is given to be 74 degrees. This length is L and this length is also L. So therefore these two angles has to be 37 degrees uh, as that is a property of triangles, right? If the sum of these two angles must be equal to the external opposite angle. So as the sides are equal, those angles also have to be equal. Okay, so now if I, if you try to drop a perpendicular from here, this angle, this angle is simply 53 degrees. And this component is going to be L sine 53. So the final length, so the upper limit is going to be 2L sine 53. 8L by 5. So the upper limit is going to be 8L by 5. So if you do the integral, that's good, you'll get, so now if you substitute all the values into this, you'll get the answer as 2.35 times mu naught L by pi. They wanted the coefficient of mu naught L by pi. So the answer for that is 2.35. Okay. So that was it for this problem. Uh, if you guys have any doubt, comment down below and yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys.